Welcome to another video. Yes, we're not in the workshop again. We are at Olympia. We're at the Ideal Home Show. I've come down here today. I've got a day of press interviews, Instagram things. I'm doing a Q&A on stage at I think about 2.30. So I've come down for the day. I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. We can have a look at what this show has got to offer. I've never been to the Idol Home Show before. I've obviously heard of it. So I thought if you've never been, now's your chance. Um, I had no idea it was so big. There's, it's not just interiors. There's a main interior section, but there's also outdoors. There's a garden section, the pet section, home accessories. There's a ton of different things here, um, including a food court with loads of street food and all sorts of things like that. So it should be a good day. Oh, look, neon, proper neon as well, look. That's very nice to see people use proper neon instead of LEDs. Very good. I wonder if that's from Outline Displays. It's a great slogan, it says, come on, so are birds and hedgehogs. In fact, they're almost garden dancers. Now, this is a clever device. That's been worrying. Like that's going to be me up there in a couple of hours. <laughs> to get in here. I can't believe it. The show's only just opened and there's already a massive queue of people waiting to get to look in these conquer pods. The idea is it's a summer house, it's also an office space yeah. and it can be a guest area. So you can have this as a pull-out bed. So you've got your hob and you've got your waist. Yeah. You can put your mini bar here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Then you've got your bar. So it's under floor heating in the winter so it keeps it constantly warm. In the summer, we've got air management flow uh, air system. So the idea is like an airplane, where the air circulates. Sure. Because of the shape, the air circulates around it. They're all this size, you just join them but these are joined together. And the, the example there is it's a walkthrough of all the different living styles. So you've got a lounge. Bathroom in one, bedroom. Yeah, nice. You've got it. nice. So you can have it as a, as a holiday village, yeah. or you can have it as individual Pods accommodation. Of. almost 2 30. I've been called. So don't where are you? Stop wandering around. I hope you're going to be kind to me. Now we've got a gentleman coming on the stage in just a few minutes time. Some debate upstairs in the press office of how we pronounce his surname and I just asked him and it wasn't what I was expecting. And he wants to know who watches the repair shop. So if you watch the repair shop make some noise. Brilliant, brilliant. Can you please put your hands together and welcome from the repair shop Ready? Go crazy, make some noise. Here he is, Dom Chimera! <laughs> Lots of people watch the repair shop. I'm glad everyone's turned up. I was a bit worried that nobody was going to come up, so. Thank well, you all very much. I was making up things like that and threw me down hills. Yeah, that was my childhood with my brother, who's also very clever, making all these random things. And that's kind of escalated into 
then messing around with cars, and then it, the, the problems keep getting bigger. Where do you find your best items to restore slash upcycle slash whatever? Well, I, I guess this is why there's a manky old bath down here in the stage. <laughs> I was wondering why that yeah. was there. There is nothing wrong with that. Well, then there is now, but it could potentially be a bath again, and it will be. I'll fix it. In Shock like horror. So that will one day be a bath in my house as a bath again. I'll be having a bath in it. I mean, it would be certainly easier to turn it into a garden plant, put a load of soil in it, but then it's kind of, that is a beautiful thing, it's over 100 years old, beautifully made thing, and it's not that bad in the hands of the wrong person. It can absolutely be made watertight again, adapted for modern plumbing, and that's kind of upcycling, I suppose, in a, with a restoration twist. You're doing the same thing, you're saving something, I'm all for saving these old things, but doesn't, you don't have to turn it into something, it's not. Keep a little note more, so when you're wandering around this salvage yard, it, it's not as daunting because you're just in your head you've got your list of things that you're looking for and you can see things just sort of jump out and like oh, that would work because you already know what you need. I guess I started the YouTube channel because the repair shop is fantastic but it's, we're restricted by time and scheduling and things like that whereas the YouTube channel I mean my work I've still got my workshop from the set design day so I've still got that and I'm filming there now for YouTube it's just a chance to go in and be a bit nerdy spend more time talking about all the nuts and bolts of stuff and like you know we can be as long as we like we can talk about as many boring things as we want and it's kind of you can enjoy it and i really enjoy making them now i've got porsche and i'm 356 right okay. which is a huge project and i don't have time to do yeah but i'm sort of following the steps of doing that i've done a vespa an old 150 super 70s vespa that's that's great are these for you or are these for other people for clients no so the vespa was i did that during lockdown it took about a year just over a year to do every nut and bolt we were engine gearbox the whole thing and we auctioned it off for uh, to the charity. Wow. And we made 21 and a half pounds. Round of applause, come on, that's brilliant. Wow, that's brilliant. That's a huge sum I, I think it's fascinating, I think it's brilliant. And uh, thanks to, to you so much for, for coming on and, Thank and you. talking to us about it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, can you please put your hands together? Wasn't it fantastic? Thank, Thank you, John. Thanks so much. I shall allow you to leave through the door. Mind your way uh, as you go, because that steps horrible. Now, yeah. keep the applause going there for Don and Janelle. Thank you very much. Check it out, I'm at the repair shop with good old Dan. We are on our lunch break, a very short lunch break. We're going up to the cafe to get a coffee. The sun's shining, so we thought we'd come for a little wander around. It's now Friday. It's been, I mean, what, Monday was at the Idol Home Show. I'm sorry that that footage ended quite abruptly, but um, the, after the q and it was all a bit of a mad rush to get myself out of there, quick get out of there, get back and get down here, basically and it has been a busy week. I don't know what happened. I got down Monday night and now I've blinked and it's Friday. It's been busy, no? Really busy. Very busy. Absolutely mental. Oh, look, Dan. Oh, the little lambs. Little lambs. Hey. Hello. We love your vlog, by the way. Oh, well, this is it. You'll be on it, look. <laughs> <laughs> you will? Um, hey, there you go. This um, is Dan. Dan edits it all. He puts it ah, all together. Right. Yeah. Your uh, vanilla wheel down there. That is the joy of YouTube and the community that we've built from promoting these vanilla things. Those two lovely guys who could just had a little secret chat. I had to stop filming because it was kind of secret, but he has got something Ranala related that he's going to send to me. Very sweet. It was his dad's and he's had it all of his life and he's going to send it to me. He's going to bring it down to the repair shop. So that will be for a future video. I can't, I'm not going to tell you what it is because it sounds quite exciting. But um, oh, bless him. It's so nice when people reach out to me. It's like, find Ranala bits, find this, find that. I thought you'd be interested. So thank you, everyone. Where are they going? Hey, come back. I have never been to the Ideal Home Show before. Dan, have you been? Nope. Never. What happened? It was it was busy for a start. It was busy. And I didn't really know what to expect. I know there's going to be lots of trade stands and stalls for things, for people selling their bits and bobs and inventions. But it was not what I was expecting. There was a lot of... It was quite commercial. Lots of sort of new things. I guess I like older things. I bet you spent more time looking at the, the actual it, building it was in. This is literally exactly what happened. If you've never been to Olympia, the building that that ideal home show was in, the pillars inside, all the balustrades and the handrails and the railings, all lots of cast iron. The whole building was riveted together. There must be 
literally millions of rivets. The whole structure, this huge, big, sweeping, sort of curved roof, this massive glazed gable end, it was just incredible. It was really, really cool wandering around looking at such an amazing structure. There was a few good stalls in there as well, but really the building was the highlight for me. The main reason for me going up to the Idol Home Show was to do a Q&A. Um, it was a bit nerve wracking. I've obviously been quizzed a lot with press interviews and things like that, but doing it live on stage and it was open to the public for just any questions you want. It's a little bit nerve wracking because I genuinely didn't know what anyone was going to ask me um, or the guy up there that was actually interviewing me. I didn't really know what he was going to say to me either. So was there like thousands of people there? Millions? No, Dan. Hundreds of no, thousands? Dan. There wasn't millions of people 500, there. 500,000? I don't know. How many people were in the crowd? Maybe like 50? Oh. 100? Or, no. I don't know. But I, I was there early and I spent all morning. Everybody that's, every single person that came up to me and said, Oh, the dog took a picture. I was like, Glad you're a fan. Oh, I'm at 2.30 over on stage in the area through there doing a Q&A, if you fancy it. I mean, there were no seats left. There were people standing at the back, so it was busy. Um, and it was good, it was a really good day. I was absolutely exhausted by the end of it. I think I did about 18,000 steps that day. I wonder my feet hurt. But, um, and then we went straight from that to a busy week here. So I'm ready for the weekend, to be honest. Okay, we're at the cafe now. We're gonna run inside and get our coffees. I will end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've never been to the Ideal Home Show, check it out next time. Or just look at the building. <laughs> Thank you so much. Dan, give us a wave. See you later. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello, Mr. Hello. How's it going? Good, you? Here we go. Come on, you're doing this. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you're, you're who I think you are, aren't you? Who? No, I, no.